welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 13 of our Colex Sun Eater SFO Grimhammer campaign. In today's episode, we're going to start here off the next turn here with an ambush against the Burning Wind Nomads. I actually tried to start this one on the battle map a couple times, but there is something wrong with this map in that it is not, it was attempting to load an ambush map on top of a normal battle map. So when you spawn in, there is no enemy army. But this uh, wizard here could keep blasting you with spells and she's just kind of hanging out in the center like she would normally be if she was in an ambush, kind of the way they march through the middle. She does not appear and you get blasted with magic from both of these uh, these wizards. So we're going to give this one to auto resolve since uh, you can't actually fight the enemy army here. Um, and uh, unfortunate. I wanted to get a cool ambush battle where we charged on with the dragon ogres and crush them underfoot. But we'll take it. We'll go ahead and sacrifice those captives as well. And the turn is again ours. The Dolgan are rolling around, doing their thing. Jingpo has been sacked. The Belfa Hills has been sacked. Uh, they're brave for ones that are about to get bullied. Kill a couple of the enemy there. We have an Evanescent Rip. A microscopic fissure has been opened between the Material World and the Realm of Chaos. A fleeting event, but it gives us more magic. Fair enough. All right, so we can move this direction. Han Port is one of his major settlements. I think we'll probably work our way through there. We're going to go to Shilong, cross the river probably at Shilong. Or we come on back this way while we can. That's a tough call. Rats are still in the center, and Lokir did declare war on us in between there, so we are going to have to worry about all of his settlements as well, causing uh, ruckus. I think we start working towards the Ridge of Heaven. We can claim these furs, which are going to give our, I think that's just the Marauders more armor. So let's start working that way. I don't think we can get her, but we can get into their lands over here with the Dark Elves and start doing some raiding. Jang Wu is going to most likely fall back under enemy control, but yes. fine by me. We are closing in ever so quickly on our short victory campaign here. We just need to loot, raise, or sack 30, or three more settlements out of 35 to gain our short victory. Then for the long victory, we have to claim a whole bunch of Dark Fortress uh, provinces, which we will get to. But honestly, we are up to a 30 or 80 out of the 30, or 32 out of the 80. We'll figure that out eventually. And we have to get 13 of these provinces locked down. So we have one, two, three, uh, four out of that 13 for now, which about halfway there. Not actually, but eh, I see it as about halfway. Those, those provinces will start falling quicker as we gain more power. So Boris is now rolling with us. There are two this armies out front here. I don't think Boris can win that battle. For the, motherland. the village is stealing an absolute ton of gold from them. Can we steal any more soldiers? We can. Awesome. All right, well, in that case, we're going to replace these Marauders, so uh, you guys get the boot. Get rid of them. And you guys get the boot. Do I need them? Nope. Grab these knights and these aspiring champs. Get a proper army going. I don't think we're going to keep stealing. What we're going to do is switch to ambush stance, ambush. drop our income down. Hang on now. Raiders. 1700 that's the difference. I guess you aren't paying any upkeep either. That's that's the difference, too. We're going to jump into Ambush Stance and see if we can't lure Archeon out of his uh, hidey hole there. All of these armies all together is, would be a problem, but we could probably even beat Archeon and Broden together in battle with Boris. We just couldn't do it inside the fortress, so we're going to try to crack them while being sneaky. Let us corrupt able to give this one to Karen. We may just let Karen snatch that one on up and we'll switch back over into Ah, uh, here's the here's the Waha army. Things are about to get real dicey real quick. All right, hack bile. We can't get you back into friendly territory unfortunately, but I guess we can. March dance, jump up into the challenge stone. Things are about to get real dicey. He's going to smash into the Blizzard Peak. Yes. We can't we can't afford any more units right now either. We're going to have to play a pretty heavily defensive game against Glugzag here. Luckily, his Call to Wah will eventually wear out. It's just going to be not anytime soon. 
Keep over the building upgrades, the damage buildings, and the rebellions, and uh, we will end the turn. The kingdom is in shambles, but we are continuing to destroy the world, so progress is promised. All right, our ambush actually managed to work against Baroden here. He is rolling with an exalted hero that has not actually been marked just yet, so he's going to have the battle banner only, dropping leadership by four for all of our in or all of our units, while encouraging his own. Got a bunch of marauders, a single unit of Forsaken, and these chaos spawn being his most deadly. I think we have the tools we need to bring this down. Is a wizard here as Melkods. The Numbral Pendulum, Enfeebling Foe, and the Sword of Antihero, so we will want to keep an eye out on him. We could beat them easily in the auto-resolve. We haven't had a, an ambush yet. I am going to actually auto-save here, just in case for some reason we have a weird... This one looks like it loaded right, but I, I trust nothing. The battle. Alright, perfect. Everything looks to have loaded properly. That's... Let's get to beating the brakes off of this army here. Let's get our dragon ogres on the backside here with our ogres charging in as well. We'll have, or the trolls rather, of the trolls and ogres working together to bring down these chaos spawn. Let our marauders. Your will. File in here. We'll let the forsaken attack the Lord there, and then the Chaos Warrior is going to hold this brick. Get file in some Aspiring Champions in front there, and off on this other side here. Chaos Knights can charge in from the rear. Group them together, all of the infantry as well. Got our Marauder Horsemen, we're going to pull them off to the side. Let them cause some problems for those spawn there. Pounds of Decay as well. And the Normie Chaos Hounds, we can use them actually to get pretty decent damage on the spawn since they don't have a lot of armor. So let's group the Hounds all together. Large monsters all together. Then Village. Put you back over here since you actually should do pretty decent against the other lords in combat. Get the battle started and immediately start off with a trickster shard. Block these guys and send them all forward to the Chaos Knights. Not quite as one, but charge them on in. You pull on away. We'll get the big units charging in. Hold up those Chaos Spawn. You guys can come on back now. Village isn't even fighting anyone. We'll have these guys turning around. We got blasted apart by some magic. Oh, the enemy lord's already gone. What a weakling. Drop a treason at each in the middle of all these troops here. And their leadership breaks. Pretty much instantly. And they're in slaughter these groups. You just have to finish off these spawn, which are going to be completely unbreakable. Of course. We'll have you guys start using those arrows on the relatively undefended spawn. The enemy are so spread out, I really can't use Peak Fire very well. So let's just blast some blue fires at their lord, make sure he is dead. Our Forsaken have taken some damage, of course, but they are... Mostly taking damage due to the fact that they have a uh, glass cannon. They throw themselves right into combat. No worry for their own safety. Oh, I didn't realize that was one of my uh, javelin cavalry. Let's get these guys out of there. They aren't meant to be in combat with you. Any of the units that are not shattered fully, let's get make sure they... Fix that quickly. What do you get? Javelin's in on those spawn there. Oh, their lord's back. Let's go ahead and hit him then with the treason of Teach. I doubt he's going to want to stay and fight for long. 
Is that a return charge? Pull these Chaos Warhounds away since they're really not meant for fighting that. Make some excellent hunting javelins in on those spawn. And we can definitely summon the Forsaken from our dead and dying Ungor there, but I'm not concerned. We pretty much have them completely broken. Those lot have rampaged out. Looks like the entire army is shattered. We just need to hunt down the stragglers now. As well as, of course, the different spawn units. Spawner choosing to chase. Choosing to play a game of chase. You guys just keep running then so you don't get hunted down by those chaos spawn. We'll have all of the big regenerative units there. Team 4. Charge them down. Chaos Knights can keep hunting. You guys are doing the same. See if you can catch them before they leave. For the chaos gods. Yes. Gives us an opportunity to actually get a really, really strong win here since we can kill a lot of their team before the game ends. As long as you can kill a majority of the army. It counts your, it gives you experience based on how many of the enemy is killed before the victory or whatever the end screen is given. A lot of javelins all for one there. All right, we're going to continue to chase down these lads here, but that is the end of the battle. I'll catch you all back on the map. And we finally make some headway against Archeon, defeating one of his lords that he was recruiting up earlier on that we should have been able to earlier, but... He now sleeps with the fishes. We gain ourselves another Norse Berserker. I think we actually will go ahead and... Tough call. I want the money. We have another Chaos Rebel Uprising. They cannot handle themselves. Shang Wu has been attacked. And yeah, we'll be back. They're going to claim themselves some territory? Oh, perfect. Make it fun for Kolek. He gains even more income from raiding and drops control by even further too. More rebellions, confederations have kicked off, so now the Western Provinces controls everything that was once the Burning Wind. Jungles of Jian. Alright, well, he's lost some territory. And rebellions are kicking off all over the place. Mission issued green filth. Beat Icky Backstab. We gain Battle Masters and some gold. Let's get to it then. Let's get out of Raiding Stance. Now we're really in the negative on our income. We gain more from attacking Shi Long. Or the Bridge of Heaven. There's 400 from here. This is giving me zero. 400's not a lot, but let's get them. I saw that army over there. It would be a decisive victory. This is unfortunately for them a weekend. We would fight it if not, so I'll resolve it is. We lost 39 total. Druki were absolutely slaughtered. We will sack the settlement. Just for the extra experience gain. Can we hit this other lord here? We can catch this other lord in an ambush. That'd be awesome. I think we want to claim some more land, so let's go ahead and do so. Yeah, that's way better. Fixes up our income by quite a bit. I think we do need to repair the one. Ah, oh, the Bridge of In... That's why. Okay. Gives us a Chaos Wharf. Well, in that case, we kind of want to hand this off to one of our other allies then. If it has a... The Wharf is not all that great for us. A little bit of growth. Small bit of upkeep as long as you're in the province, though. So we'll keep it for now. Well, let's worry about getting up further here to the north. We need to cripple Grimgore quickly. Although Glugzag here, I'm not sure why he didn't move into attack. That Wa army is already 14 strong. Good news is Karen has moved on over and claimed that settlement. We could move in and get the Saber Mountain next. It is a large province. We have learned that the uh, the orcs are not playing around when it comes to the battle. George back onto the challenge stone. Let's see what Glugzag is going to try. 
now they will see. We cannot really afford more soldiers right now. Really unfortunate. But Damn it, you fool. Rodin has retreated. Us. We can hunt down Archaon outside. That would be awesome. And what I am going to do is grab the Midal Mine again. Paragon to change would probably be nice. But if we gain even more money from defeating Archaon and a 100% chance of stealing a magic item? Yes, please. For our other wizards, though. I think we'll go for Tough as Nails on our Nurglish champion. And then we'll gain the point in Magical Reserves or Earthing. Magical Reserves for extra magic. Because... Magic is good. Okay, so they are all together here, unfortunately. There's a lot of Chosen. Do we want to get back to just raiding? Steal a bunch of gold from him and get rooted up to prepare to battle against the orcs? I think we kind of want to. Stealing gold from him is going to keep him from recruiting more soldiers, too. As long as we're away from the settlement just a little bit here, we're going to be safe, so... We'll keep you here. Come back over to... Harold. What an uh, intimidating name here for Harold. We'll give Harold some... The aspiring champions are really expensive. I don't really want to give him any. We may want to grab some Forsaken to help us blend through some of those greenskin hordes. Or just some trolls. Big boys cost 200. A bunch of marauders would be quite a bit cheaper. Let's get us some cheap and cheerful marauders. Then one of these forsaken. There we go. We're going to let these guys replenish since they already have a good deal of experience under their belt. No more gold for the upgrades, and that's fine. We'll, we'll get there slowly. We gained a lot of territory really quickly and made all of our vassals really mad, so... Lots of stuff to kind of sort out there. More rebellions kicking off very soon. So be it. Alright, Glugzag has decided to hit Blizzard Peak as we expected him to. We'll give that one to the auto resolve because that is a horde of orc, but now we know what he is rolling with in the back line there, which is just, which is just a bunch of normie boys we can blow away with magic. If we are lucky. So it's really just this main army here we have to deal with. Could be something we can deal with on our own terms then. We'll have to lure them in properly. Dare to with me? Oh, do you want peace now? You declared war on me. He wants peace. No, sir. All right, another rebellion is kicked off here in the Forest of the Moon. Hopefully our allies can deal with that. And in the path to the east over here at Saber Mountain, that's going to be for the orcs to deal with. Settlement has been besieged. Negative growth over here at the Plains of Zanbaijin. We don't want to fight him with his current army here. They need to replenish quite badly. But he has to move through the mountains of Morn there, which are a pain. So Oridin switched places with Archeon. Let's go ahead and cut him off so there's no reinforcements coming. Should not be able to get through now. We still can somehow. Okay. See, as close to the fortress as we can get, just to kind of stop him from escaping. He keeps stealing money from them as well. He did roll down and uh, punch the Boris in the face. I'm not sure how he had the strength to fight, but he did somehow. We'll deal with that next turn. I've got a uh, cat scratching to get in. I'm going to go ahead and pause, and I'll be right back. All right, handle. Let's get back to it. We'll zoom our map on in, and I'm going to to our lords and heroes, kind of take a look and see what we've got to work with. I'd like to get into another battle with Kolek, but it looks like all we could down here at Shilong is a provincial capital for some ogres. Do these ogres have any... Ooh, wonder if we can subjugate them. Would you like to join the team, ogres? Booger. Okay, okay then. 
All right, Booger, what you got? He's got a whole heap of trappers, some ogre bulls. I mean, they would get obliterated, but uh, let's go ahead and fight some ogres. We haven't had any battles against ogres except for very early on. And I need to see more battles with Kolek. Auto Resolve loves Kolek now. He has 1.6 thousand weapon strength. He's a monster. They've got themselves a nice Bethayan city they've stolen. Let's go ahead and ruin it. All right, then. Interruptions ahoy this battle. I'm actually going to cut out just the beginning part of me setting this up. Uh, we were just interrupted by a call from a 1-800 number. I forgot to put the phone on silent. I'm a professional. What we'll do is we'll have Kolek with his Dragon Ogre, since this is a nice, beautiful Cathayan city for us to wreck. We still have our Shatterstone for now, so in five seconds we'll be able to blow a hole through this wall and just send Kolek right through with all of his Dragon Ogres. And then for the rest of us, though... I think we'll attack from elsewhere, so let's take... Although, what's funny is we're not even going to be able to get to the walls probably before Kolek is able to uh, do his thing, so let's move up the Axemen. Try to do it from the forest so they're not getting shot as much from the start. Love the aspiring champs. I want them back. How strong are these towers? Decently potent, so I don't want to take free damage. I will bring the Slaneshi Sorcerer with the boys, though. He isn't going to be quite as fast. What is your speed at, good sir? 46? Yeah, he could be lumbering along. That's fine. We'll make do. We'll have the beasties working on the gate there. There's five of them. They should be able to get through there. Then we'll have the spawn behind you guys, and that should do it. I like the Hounds of Decay where they're at, and you as well. So we'll go ahead and speedies together, beasties together. Out of again. Come on, Ungor. You guys go hang out over there. Watch Papa Kolek work. I'll blast a hole in the wall. Let's send these hounds. I don't know, into Nom Nom on the gates. Why not? Then you all to work on the gates together, and then push forward. We're going to take a bit of damage from those towers. We're happy to do so. All right, Kolek. There's a tyrant in there that wants a hug. Yes, indeed. Such efficient workers we have. All of the Noblar trappers are on top. That works for me. Send Kolek right through. Drop down the Tempest Rage. Should electrocute everyone around him. I am surprised they caught him. Drop down some lightning in the middle of all of these ogres here. Vlad's rolling. We can give him the hysterical frenzy as well. Because why not? Let's get these dragon ogres rolling. All as one solid unit. The number of deaths we're going to get on these Noblars is going to be quite insane. Let's go ahead and drop down a acquiescence on you, good sir. Lightning has continued to drop down over there, and I don't remember casting something that aggressive. Go ahead and drop down the Shatterstone, stop these trappers from doing their thing. And Skadoosh. Don't make me a liar. There we go. Let's charge on through. Everyone into combat. You all have people to smack. Go ahead and drop the Lash of Slanesh. Although there's not really any trappers over here for us to get. We'll hang off on that. Drop the Chosen, though. Get you two ogres turning around to deal with your brethren from the past. The inferior ogres. some hounds working on the combat potential of their selves, and then we'll have you fly over the top. Exalted. Yeah, you are a bit deep. Let's pull you on back. Looks like our warriors are having a hard time with the ogres, as we kind of expected they would. Gotcha, he's going from there. 
Drop in the extra melee defense. Chosen and some healing. Go ahead and give you your demonic strength as well. Help you chop through. Uh, these guys are routed. Let's go ahead and move this way. Find you a new target. Give him a hug. Grab our Angor Raiders. Help him sneak over and claim this point. Be sneaky like. With a single blow, that ogre is no more. Of course, my Phantasmagoria it costs way too much. I like it giving Hysterical Frenzy to uh, Kolek, though. Charge on in. We'll drink some Potion of Strength. There's some Noblars. Let's give him a Lightning Strike. Hounds needs to find some other little noblars for them to nom nom on. We'll activate our Tempest Storm Rage. You're working on in on this next group. Drop down the chain lightning as well. That may do more damage to friendlies, but we'll deal with it if it does. Gore fighting with actually someone their own size for once. Would you be? A duel of Ungor Raiders versus uh, Trappers isn't going well, so let's give them some help. They're not quite at 50% health. And now give them some help. Go ahead and send them into melee. They should actually outclass Noblars in melee. If they don't, I'll be incredibly surprised and disappointed. Oh, like, come on back. Let's claim a point. I think we pretty well have it from here. Seeking pleasures. We'll have you drop the acquiescences. Let's do it on the Saber Tusk pack here. Gives it a bit more range. Reduce our cooldowns. Get you speeding along. Chaos. The old duel of Ungor versus Noblar. That's what you're here for, right? Smackdown of the champions. Oh, but there is no escape. Corpses of ogres litter the battlefield. Plenty of big old chunky souls for our soul bag. And a victory. Booger and his rebels have been quashed. Do we get to subjugate them? No, we get to occupy or raise. Fair enough. She long belongs to us. Unless the game decides to crash, Booger has been killed in battle. Gain ourselves the filth mace. Erodes armor and it gives us a bit of armor piercing and base weapon damage. Pretty solid. Lord of Mountains. We can kind of hand this off to our Nurgle hero then. Got the Berserker sword for now. Let's give him a filth mace. Pay no attention to the gigantic axe he's wielding. Is a mace. Oleg has a skill point to pass out, though. I think we give him a bit more health. Keep working towards the deadly onslaught there. Oleg the Uber Chad. I don't want to get the monster strength, though, as well. Increase everyone else. He's up to 1.4 thousand. Let's start working on the beast. We'll grab Monster Strength now. We'll keep working on Kolek himself, but this increases them to 240 apiece. These guys, I believe, count as demons. Maybe they don't. No, they're just really, really gross fellas. Fair enough. Hadrins is hanging out on the edges. Probably going to go attack the Bridge of Heaven where they can. Shilong also has itself a port, so we'll be doing plenty of replenishing. See if we can't do any handing of this off. I don't think there's any allies nearby, though. That's kind of the problem. We're going to have to let them take some territory next door. All right, well, let's go ahead and not worry about repairing any of the settlements down here. Let's give our ill-gotten gains to the north. If your growth is unnecessary. I need money. 
upgrading the gates gives us no money, just growth. Weijin, we can throw in the Manticore building. We're working our way towards the Giant's Hollow. Or just another Chaos Shrine. To increase fervor from all buildings by 5%. I think we do. It costs the least, and it will give us a bit of overall income. 5% adds up as you get them in every single uh, settlement there. You need a boom. We may end up having to give you some ROR units just to protect yourself against Grimgore. But we'll see. For now, I think we need some Skirmish Cavalry. Chaos. Zero. Well, that's safe. Chaos. We're definitely going to want to hang out and wait for them. You need to recruit. Village, you keep stealing. And we'll also swing in here to our gifts. So we gained another uh, summon of a Dragon Ogre Shaggoth. We will take this one off since we have two of them sitting in our uh, pocket for use whenever we want. If we replace one of these others, I want to go back to our undivided units causing fear. Oh, 750. I'm actually happy to, uh, to spend that. Because we are almost to the maximum where we're able to get some... Yeah, War Shrines, but those I don't really care about. Let's swing on back up to our undivided characters and units get more experience and slot that on in. Horrifying presence is also going to give them 10 more leadership, which is going to be awesome. But that will stop us from draining too many souls. And we do still have the two gifted units. Swing on back over to see. Should at least have two Dragon Ogre Shaggoths sitting in reserves. Looks like we can only have two sitting and waiting, but once we have the availability, Colex army is going to become even stronger. Go ahead and move through there. Rebellions all over the place, huh? Zhongyang and, and whatnot. Zhongyang is under siege by the Western Provinces. Yeah, that unfortunately is going to be a loss. Let's let them come to us. We'll decline that attack. Force them to make the move on our settlement. Luckily, Colette can swing on back over and deal with them. We just need enough income to have another army is the only issue here. Okay, so they immediately decide to attack. We wouldn't even really be able to whittle them down too much. So we'll go ahead and give this one to the auto-resolve. And we'll just check to see if we are behind the walls. I don't think it'll matter, though. Then you're thinking, because our warriors do in highly outclass his. Nah, that'd be a that would be a defeat. We'll hand it off. And the blessed dread have hit the bridge of heaven. As I expected as well, but if, if they don't retreat, we'll be able to attack them back. Claim the town. Or stay right outside that works too. Is there is nothing I want but your obliteration. He wants peace, probably. 2,000. You know what? You don't have a deal, because I need my Cathayan allies. Alright, another rebellion kicks on off. More stuff to crush. Settlement lost. The Celestial Loyalists lost their outposts. Grimgor's Ard boys have claimed the Darkland Orcs. And they're building up another outpost right away. Rebellion's about to kick off all over the place. Fair enough. Let's swing on up and crush this army here. Sorry, Hydrans. Time is now. Where can you retreat to? Oh, just to here. Okay, well, I guess you tried your absolute best, but that is going to be that. Smush. Finishes off that group of the Blessed Dread. We will go ahead and sacrifice their captives. Get us a good deal of gold. Yeah, and unfortunately we can't actually get going anywhere. I'd like to get moving. We need to eliminate... Pick one enemy, eliminate them, and move on. So we'll come down here, kill these uh, orcs just because free souls. 
Swing on back around. We'll come over here, kill these orcs for because of free souls, and then we'll smush what's left of the western provinces. So we need to crush them here, move up north, and then if they claim any territory back, we will just take it back in return. So let's swing on in. Looks like some Druki are trying to go around. Nikai as well. They're all going up and around the uh, the fortress there. And I've got jet fighters flying overhead. You can probably hear them in campaign if you can't. Beautiful. We will pass out the loot heap because we need the extra income. And it looks like Glugzag has come on over to cause some issues. There's absolutely no way you can't hear these jets flying over. Got an airport. I've said it a couple times, but we've got an airport nearby, and it just seems like it just continues to grow, this airport, so we get all sorts of new sounds. All right, their exercises seem to have at least moved away from uh, our area, at least, thankfully. Let's get back to it. So Archeon is going to hide. Man, this is, uh, we're back to where we were before. So the only difference is we can't actually... How did you sneak by? That is so, so silly. I thought we completely surrounded it, but turns out no. What we'll do is we'll come back over here, keep them from escaping. We're just going to keep stealing gold from Archeon, even though I want to add him to our army. We'll just keep stealing from him. And then once we repel Glugzag here, we, shall the we should be able to then turn to deal with Archeon. Looking to afford any of the regiments right now, I think we'll just go for some Chaos Spawn then. Why the hell did I see? Pretty healthy choice. We'll leave you where you're at. Can we switch you to the summoning stance so we can get even more uses for the fires? I think that's how it should work. We should get two two uses. We'll soon see, won't we? Building upgrades, imminent rebellions all over the place. These rebellions quashed, and we are we've got low funds. I mean, yeah, but we'll, we'll be fine. We've been at low funds the entire game. Don't you judge me. Chaos Rebel Uprising is continuing its march. It's attacked she long while our back was turned. You're going to pay for that with your life. She long falls. Rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. And settlement looted. Bankrupt. Coffers are empty. This will have dire consequences for our dependents and soon. Did we not gain any because they uh, sacked our settlement? We do have the profit available now, though, so that's that's something, right? Not many know about the dead gods, but we are now their profit. Got a talisman of endurance. The only one. I didn't actually see what that one was. I clicked through too quick. This was defeat Archaeon the Ever Chosen in battle. I'd love to. We are unable to do so for yet, though. Swing into chance abilities here. Infernal Champion gives him more weapon strength. By 10% each time, and the jets are back, because of course they are. Alright, lads, we're gonna try to get this episode ended up while we can, while before the uh, Air Force rolls back around again. Let's give another point to Phantasmagoria. And then I think we'll swing on down and give this one to the auto resolve here against Mentash. Looks like his version of attrition is hurting us, which is kind of interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and crush this army here, take little to no losses, occupy the settlement bag because that's mine, get ourselves a student. Really, from history to anatomy to science to nothing more than the bottom of a bottle. What? That doesn't make any sense, but sure. You Still taking attrition. What's going on here? Through desertion. I'm confused. Our offers are not that empty. Glugzag is just going to kind of wander around. We're going to be taking a lot of attrition due to uh, desertion. That's not good at all. No, oh, you can't eat that. I said move. Gotta pull you back. Continue to I allow you to steal from the enemy. It was corrupt. 
got 2,000. Hopefully the uh, nonsensical bankrupt is going to go away. The bankruption is going to go away soon. Let's go ahead and grab the... Let's take a look here. Is there anything that gives us any more gold or any drop to upkeep of any kind whatsoever? Or souls from battles. Upkeep reduction cost. Destruction time. The extra authority for our armies would help out quite a bit. But that's going to take a while to get up to that. So instead then... I think we're kind of out of luck. Let's start working towards the Herald of Doom. Nothing really we can do to gain more gold. We're out of luck there. Let's go ahead and sign some agreements with the Pox Makers. Get as much gold from them as we can. I'm happy to fight Kugath later on, but for now... I guess we can have a defensive alliance. We'll subjugate you the old-fashioned way. Welcome, Nurgle. We need the help. Military alliance as well. Alright, alliance with chaos. As much gold as I can drain from your faction, the better. Skull takers, I can sign a non-aggression pact with them for now. I actually think that'd be a good idea. I got to say that you don't hurt me and give me money. That is working out for us. We are taking attrition due to desertion now, but we've got 7,000 gold in the bank. I am going to go ahead and call it here for today, though. I have been at Space Was in Total War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub zone, and I will see you on the next one.